After a not so stellar demo, my expectations for Kirby Star Allies were relatively low, but as always I remained optimistic. The game happened to actually end up having a surprising amount of charm and should please longtime Kirby fans who have been craving an experience more akin to the mainline titles on past consoles and handhelds. Kirby Star Allies is not without its own faults, but it's another solid addition to the Switch's growing library of first-party Nintendo titles. Kirby Star Allies is Kirby's most epic outing to date. The game has tons of levels and a healthy amount of secrets to find. The game begins more conventional, but quickly grows into something that's truly epic. Fans will get the chance to see all of the characters they love, but thankfully, Star Allies doesn't rely too heavily on older characters and introduces a bunch of new villains for Kirby and his friends to take on. Also, if you don't fancy the new characters you can take powers from and play as, you can still take control of fan favorites like Meta Knight and the Alluring King DDD. I think the biggest gripe some people might have with Kirby Star Allies is its lack of innovation to the series and that it's too easy. The latest addition to the titular Puffball comes in the form of a new ability Kirby has where he can take over his enemies and turn them to his cause. This new power also manages to elevate Kirby Star Allies and makes it work incredibly well on the Switch in particular. Friends can join in at any time by hitting the L and R buttons on their controller, and you can have up to three other friends alongside you. It's fantastic being able to get four players involved with only a couple of Joy-Con controllers. The absolute chaos that ensues is fun, and I actually found the game to be a lot better because of it. After completing each level, there's a little competitive minigame that you can compete in, and while it gets a bit repetitive if you're on your own, my friends and I would trash talk as we competed for the highest score during it. There's also an excellent score to be found as well in Kirby Star Allies. The game mixes a bunch of new songs and old, Star Allies even has some SNES tracks thrown into the mix and they're an absolute joy to hear in this modern Kirby title. Even when the game can be too easy, it's just pure relaxing fun jumping through every colorful world accompanied by a great soundtrack. The visuals and dialogue sprinkled throughout Kirby Star Allies are fantastic. While the level design itself can come off as a bit basic, the characters and levels are filled to the brim with personality and charm. As for collectibles, there are lots of things to find in the game, but the content you unlock from gathering all of the hidden puzzle pieces doesn't unlock the most compelling rewards players might expect. Because of this, I wasn't always motivated to go back and find what I was missing, whereas in games like Super Mario 3D World and other platformers from Nintendo, I typically did like to go back and find collectibles. The more compelling content is unlocked after completing the story mode. A more experienced player might be able to see just about everything after around 6-9 to nine hours, but once you finish your initial playthrough there are plenty of reasons to go back for more. Finishing the story mode will get you access to a bunch of fun minigames that are all the more fun with friends. And again, Nintendo has seemingly focused on making this a great cooperative experience. As much as I love it, there isn't much that's very new here. Games like Cuphead, Super Meat Boy, Celeste, and a slew of other fantastic games are leading the way for platformers in 2018, and I couldn't help but want to see Nintendo inject some of the same originality found in those games, but nonetheless, the game is still a solid platformer and has the heart of a classic Nintendo platformer. For the hardest of hardcore Nintendo fans, I don't think it's a stretch to say Kirby Star Allies is worth buying at full price, but for platforming fans who aren't as familiar with the series, there are some better options at lower prices on the Switch eShop. But if you're only mild curious and checking this game out, you should definitely wait. I'd also strongly suggest giving the free demo a try. While there is a surprising amount of content to explore, it's relatively easy to get through if you're familiar with this genre. Kirby Star Allies is another solid addition to the Nintendo Switch, and it does everything it has to as a Kirby game. I just hope that in the future, Nintendo will try to expand upon what already makes Kirby so great as they have with titles like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. For the full written review, head over to DualShockers.com.